Morning everyone, welcome to Auto Attention. Today we've got this R33 GDR behind us. Uh, we're gonna take you through everything that's involved with cleaning and decontaminating the car before we start our paint correction process. Cleaning is the most important part of any detailing stage. It's so important to make sure that before you start any polishing or paint correction process, you've cleaned the car, decontaminated the car. That way you're starting with a fresh canvas. So first up, we start with the wheels and tyres and inner guards. Um, wheel barrels are always a really important part of cleaning your wheel, especially on such an open wheel like this, where you can see them. If they're still full of dirt, it uh, always detracts the eye from the clean wheel face. So we're using wheel woolies to scrub the inner wheel barrels. You always need a few different sizes to get past the brake calipers. And then we use the same wheel woolies to scrub your inner guard plastics as well. Then we rinse the car, rinse off the wheels and the wheel cleaner and rinse those inner guards out. And then we perform our wash procedure. So we're using a microfiber wash mitt, super important to use everything microfiber when you touch your car. This stops any swirls and scratches from being induced. Although we're about to polish the car, it's still important that we try our best to not induce any scratches or swirl marks. After we've washed, we then go through and start scrubbing all the intricate little details. So we make sure we scrub around the window shroud. We scrub and brush all the door jams, all grills and badges, and in between all the gaps where any dirt and grime can build up. As once you've polished a car, it's all those little intricate areas that are gonna stand out. Give the car another rinse, get rid of all the soap that's on the car, rinse out all those door jams all those gaps and make sure you've removed all the dirt from those areas. And then we decontaminate the car by giving it a good clay bar. A clay bar is useful for getting any dirt and grime off the surface of the car that's stuck on there that won't come off just with a general wash. Lastly, we give the car its final rinse to get rid of all the clay lubricant on the car. And then we start our paint correction process. All right, so the car's been cleaned and decontaminated, clay barred, everything's been brushed and scrubbed. So now we're gonna start our paint correction portion of the detail. This is where we remove all the swirl marks in the car, get rid of any water spotting, any oxidization, and restore the paintwork. What is paint correction? So paint correction is the art of removing swirl marks, watermarks and any paint defects while still maintaining as much original clear coat on the car as possible. The old school version is called cut and polish which most people will refer to it as but this method is more so just heavy cutting and then a heavy polish without any regards for the actual clear coat measurements on the car. So today we're doing this R33 GDR. The paint's in pretty good condition. It's just got a bit of swirling throughout the paint. So we're gonna go to our wool pad, as we know after doing countless GDRs in the past, that this combination is best for removing swirl marks and removing a little bit of texture from the paint as well. And then we'll finish it up with a nice soft foam pad and then uh, it's ready for coating. Today we're gonna to take you through ceramic coatings, what they're good for, how they're applied and why you should get one for your car. Ceramic coatings are great for keeping your car cleaner for longer and newer for the life of ownership. Ceramic coatings give your car the ability to stay cleaner between washes by encapsulating dirt in the beads of water. This is given through the hydrophobic properties of the coating. It also means once the time comes to wash the car, it's really super simple. The dirt just falls off with a wash and the car looks as new as it did when we first coated it for you. Lots of people ask what's the difference between paint protection film and ceramic coating. So paint protection film or PPF as it's most commonly known is a clear vinyl that goes over the top of your paintwork that's predominantly there to stop stone chips and scratches from occurring. Ceramic coating is a clear liquid that gets applied to your car and is predominantly used to keep your car cleaner for longer and keep the overall condition of the car newer for the life of ownership. At Auto Attention, we use two different brands of ceramic coating for two different purposes. 
We use our Kamikaze range, which is a high-end boutique product made in Japan for those weekend cars and show cars where you really want the paint to stand out. It's a very looks-based coating, and although it'll still serve well on a daily driven car, it's more predominantly used for show cars to really make them stand out from the rest. We also use Angel Wax ceramic coatings, and these ceramic coatings are more skewed towards daily driven cars. They're a very strong, sturdy coating. They're very resilient to the Australian weather, and we use them on cars that get frequently used and left outside to make sure that every time the car gets washed, it looks brand new again. Preparation is the most important part of a ceramic coating. So before the car actually gets coated, the car must go through. Once that's done, the car gets wiped down with an alcohol formula, and this makes sure that there's no leftover oils or residue left in the paintwork, and the coating can probably bond to the surface of the paint. A lot of people ask how ceramic coatings are actually applied. So today we'll show you exactly how we apply our ceramic coatings to this R33 GDR. So ceramic coating comes as a liquid in these little 30 mil bottles. We apply it to our applicator and we apply per panel. Ceramic coating goes on as a liquid and over the course of two to three minutes, depending on your temperature and humidity, it'll cure from the bottom up. Once it's cured and the chemical reaction's taken place, we remove that top layer that's still wet, which leaves that crystallized layer underneath. Once the coating's been done to the whole car, we usually give it 12 to 24 hours to fully cure, depending on the product, and then the car's ready to be enjoyed.